we are back. Well, I am back, more specifically, and not just playing video games or putting up podcasts. But actually back, physically back, and not at Anime North. Uh, but I do have some awesome new art, which I am really excited about. Anyway, we also, here in Ontario, we just had an election. And it was a huge contentious thing, as elections always are. Um, the Liberal Party won, which is our sort of center-right party, if you're not familiar with Canadian politics. And it's, it's funny, uh, for my Facebook political affiliation, I put down Lawful Good, which is a Dungeons & Dragons alignment. Because I just sort of think that we need everyone to be better off, and the best way to do that is to be organized and that kind of thing. But I, I consider myself very politically naive. It isn't a thing I spend a lot of time on. It's a thing I probably should spend more time on. I'm, I'm reasonably acquainted with policies but and policy positions, but a lot of that stuff, much like I leave uh, medical opinions to doctors, I leave policy opinions to policy experts. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time, you know, double-checking my doctor's studies on things. Uh, I trust my doctor, and he does his thing. Politicians, of course, are slightly less trustworthy, but, I mean, they're not a terrible animal, to be sure. Unless they are. This is something that's been bugging me about politics and, and, and the political arena. Is we spend a lot of time sort of painting other politicians. And this is something that, that individual voters do. Um, it's also something that polit political parties and, and individual politicians spend a lot of time in. Sort of painting individual politicians or, or parties as a whole as not merely incorrect about their their policy positions i mean in that there's a lot of that that goes on the conservatives this this election had a big million jobs plan that involved major cuts to public services and there were a bunch of economists and and experts on the subject who said no that's just not going to work it's just it, it's it's wrong it's it's ill-formed and that's a critique of policy but there's a lot of critique that goes on about the people or the parties involved and it says that not merely that they're wrong but that they're unfit to govern that they are unfit to make decisions or that this person is unfit to hold office and that's a that's a really heavy claim like that's a big deal and it's weird to me that it only happens during elections. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I understand why it ha only happens during elections, but it makes me feel bad because these same people, when they come together and form parliament at the end of, at the, end of the election cycle, we congratulate them for reaching across the aisle to one another in, in bipartisan legislation. In st and, and they do not spend any time at all attempting to run out the other party or the other parties, because this is Canada, and we have about f four really strong parties and a bunch of small ones. Well, the Green Party, I think, is really strong. I very, I very much like them most of the time. But we never try and kick, they never try and kick them out. Once, once they're in, you're just like, oh, well, welcome to government. We were enemies a while ago, but we're not now. And I mean, they, they still hotly debate issues. They certainly don't agree on everything. But it would be weird to work across the aisle from someone who two weeks ago was on television claiming that I, I, was, I was a monster. Like, straight up monster. And if they genuinely believe that I'm a monster, they should be trying to run me out of my job. They should be, they should be trying to shut down my whole party. Not because of you know not in an anti-democratic way that says we need to suppress people who have different ideas but if we are legitimate monsters that is a problem and it would be in the best interest of voters for us to be out i mean that's why we feel really bad when bunches and bunches of racists or rape apologists get elected but i think it's one of those things that we we, we talked a lot this election about about voter disenfranchisement and how people feel that there isn't a party that represents them. And sometimes that's true. If you're, if you're First Nations or, or Native American, um, if you're not from Canada, that's what we call them in Canada, you, you don't have a party that's looking out for you. Like, at any level of government. There is no one who has your back. So it is understandable that you might feel like voting isn't a worthwhile thing to do. 
because no one is looking out for your interests. I mean, if you're young or if you're poor or if, you know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of, of complicated things as to why you might feel disenfranchised and that your vote doesn't matter. I don't think you have an obligation to vote. I do think that if you don't vote, you can still complain because uh, you still have to live under it. But one of the things I think that disheartens people is, is the fact that once every four years, these people who represent us spend all this time at war and then they are just friends for four years. And it makes us feel like we're being conned. Like it's all this, it's falsely adversarial. And I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't have a solution or anything like that. It's just a thing that I noticed and a thing that's been really bothering me and I wanted to talk about it. And this is where I talk about that kind of stuff. If you have any thoughts on that or if you voted in this election or in a recent election or if you didn't vote, I'd love to hear about it. And I'd love to hear about it in the comics down below. Also, on Saturday, Kaylee and I will be playing music at Summer Light, the Summer Lights Festival in Kitchener. There's going to be all kinds of art installations and games and music. And there's going to be a glowing balloon garden scattered all over downtown in the park. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. We will be in the Walper Hotel in the LaFontaine Room playing music with Nerd Night KW. Uh, they are they're a local speaker series. They're amazing. I will hopefully do some videos with, with Charlotte and her crew. But they're going to be running Artemis and um, Mario Kart. And they're going to have board games. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It runs from 9 at night until 2 in the morning on Sunday. So you've got lots of time to come down and stop by if you're local. And if not, I'll shoot some videos, and I will see you guys later. I'm you so can break your internet, I promise. I guess I, I can. I guess we can just take the video down, and nobody will know otherwise. <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to edit that part out. But, yeah. uh,